Guys, I'll give you a tour of my uh, my luxury yacht. There's a luxury obvious bit. It's not too shabby. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30-foot Arista Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Morning, guys. Uh, I'm down there for about an hour or so. So I'm a bit of a spruce up. Um, nothing impressive as of yet. Um, I didn't do a before, before video, but you've seen plenty of them in the state of the boat. Um, so I'll do a midway one in a second where you can see where I'm at in a minute. Then I'll show you one at the end. There's not much more to go really, apart from minimising, tidying and sorting. Um, so I've got the mattress in the front here. So, a nice double mattress, comfy old headboard. That radar wire is bugging the hell out of me. I thought I'd be alright tonight, but that might get chopped and coiled uh, to get sorted out and spliced up top at a later stage. But that's a, that's a later problem. Um, these are fixed in nicely absolutely solid so I can now start building the tops and the shelves and frontages I've got frontage for these as well um, yeah like I said before last night uh, the covers on the windows on the outside will stay on until I get a dry spot where I can sand down the, the black mess I made and repaint so it's easier than remasking them up but we've now got no leaks before, you know, it was always running down here. Um, yeah, and I've even spoiled myself some nice tumblers. Don't really know why, I have to see them in Halfords for eight quid and a foot bargain. Uh, some stainless screws to fit the uh, the hatch cover. I want to do that if, if we get a moment of un stop raining. Um, I've got all the scraps of wood in here. I, I sort of sweep out and clean up in here. Um, so I sorted out all the paint and epoxies and now in their places. There's still a lot of stuff on the boat here that I don't need anymore. I won't need sort of immediately and I'll take back home but that'll be another sort out maybe later or another day. Um, yeah so the starboard side was my, my dumping ground and it was always a right mess. So I've even got carried away and sorted the head out. So the suction thing on it, and that is after me scrubbing it with a uh, scouring pad and bleach and all sorts. It's still alive, but um, yeah, I scrubbed the floor underneath. There was all, it was all horrendous. Uh, but I mean, technically that works. It doesn't work great. I've got the rebuild kit there, but it does work in, in, in emergencies. Um, but it's not, it's not pretty, you know. It will be, it will be one day, but it's nice to have it not full of crap. So the crap that was stacked up is now sorted out nicely on the shelves. The stuff that is scattered all over these shelves randomly is now sorted out into type piles. My PPE down there. Uh, still got spare shelf space down here. Uh, and my VHF when I get to plumb that in. Uh, the cushions for outside I've just rested on top of my, my wood pile. So it's purely wood and the hand rails and stuff in here now. So a lot of that wood once I've started to get a bit more headway will get binned or used or burnt or whatever. My glass supplies up here. So that's my powder based uh, CSM for epoxy. My peel ply and biax. And then the headboard, I've showed you this thing, this is the, one of the hatch covers. Got my headboard here, ready to go up like so. Um, yeah, so I think one of my main sort of switch fire things in the near future is going to be in here painted out like next door uh, so I can get the mattresses back in here. 
I say, I mentioned it before, this, these shelves, I'm not that keen on them, but they work for now. A future thing I might revisit like I have next door. But for now, for what the girls need, you know, that, that's plenty good enough, so I'll probably just repaint them. This thing here, again, not overly keen, but it works for what I need it for, for stuffing stuff into. It's plenty, plenty, plenty good enough. Um, and then I now just got to sort out all that. Won't take long. It looks, it looks a lot worse than it is. I'm not, everything's got a home. I've just got to actually put it in there. Some of the stuff needs to go home with me. Um, so yeah, I want to get on with that. And before I disappear or start getting involved with anything, I tune in and uh, show you I'm getting on. Let's go. Hey guys, I'll give you a tour of my uh, my luxury yacht. There's a luxury obvious bit. Nah, it's all good. So down here I've got my refreshments and niceties. Make a brew, have a drink later if I want to. Uh, I've been bottle of gin or something down here. I uh, swept all this out, moved all the, the paints and stuff down so they're not set up on top. Um, they're going to clean up in there. My, my cleaning products down there. Um, I've taken the mat outside, just clean it, but it is all swept out. On down there is the same as what's on here, where there's this cork covering that's fallen off in places. So I'll have to chisel that back in and reapply some other sort of sound deadener that's on there. Future problem. Oh, it's all dusty here. And then I think I showed you down here. The, this is all good to go to get painted. And then the still health hazard heads. But compared to a few hours ago, it's like a completely new yacht. Um, so I'm gonna mess around with hatch covers and stuff now, and that's gonna be that is gonna be a different video. Unlike the headboards, I'm gonna do a hatch cover one. Um, but I think that's about it for now. Um, I'll get some more footage over the next few days and promote the next video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been helpful for some. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please hit the like button. Massively helps my be getting recognised by the algorithm thingy. Um, let us know what you think of how she's looking. Cheers guys, thank you, have a good weekend. Hey guys, so I've sanded off the, the black and uncovered the, uh, the new windows. They look a bit strange. But they look too big, I think it's because the other windows are obviously too small now. So, for the, the size of the boat, in the size of the side that fills it really nicely whereas these sort of come to here you know you get all that big sort of dead space so i'll probably continue that there's a line up here a little bit further down just continue that through and i think that would look a hell of a lot better uncovering a few weird and wonderful things you know some sort of repair been done here um yeah all sorts of oddities uncovered, but that's one side. <coughs> and that's Tubber. Uh, same, same thing, where nice big bold back windows and then little horrendous things behind it. But that is it. My, my one hatch cover fitting, because I ain't got the fittings. Uh, and what's that? It's got to be two thirds of the boat done now, glass wise. Oh, plus I've got all the plastic I'll have to go and dodge when that's done. Um, and it's in the four windows, the two openers. But yeah, just want to show you that. Cheers, guys. Hey, right, guys, let's come down to the boat quick. Um, get some templates. So I've made a normal black plastic templates for the shelves here and the top and I've also took the measurements of the frontage so what I'm going to do the frontages are going to be this stuff just because it's 
a wood's really expensive as I've mentioned in other videos, especially at the minute. Um, yeah, so it's going to get done in that. It's it's going to be cheaper. It's going to be lightweight. Um, it's not affected by water. I, you know, it's the only possible thing that could maybe be an issue. And I'm going to have a little play here with biax, etc. Is the finish. So these I've sort of rolled them out really well, and they're flat, but obviously there's that texture there. Now I think on the frontage here with epoxy primer. Uh, and then the paint, it will be, I don't think it'll be like shiny perfect, but it, you know, it'll be plenty good enough. Um, but yeah, this finish here, so it's fine. And I think the epoxy primer will, would fill it smooth. Um, but I'm going to have a little mess around with the, uh, the Biax, uh, see if that's got a better finish to it, make it look a little bit prettier. Um, I mean, ultimately half is going to get cut out for the actual holes. And then the cupboard doors, etc. etc. Um, so there's not much of it that's going to be left. So I've got to create a big sheet, cut most of it out, and throw it away. Um, yeah, so that's my that's my next job. So I'm going to go home. I don't think I've got that much um, polyester resin left. So I'm going to see what I've got. I think I've got about five litres. So I'll probably have to do the shelves and maybe the top there, but not um, the frontage. So I'll get on to um, CFS fiberglass, who I use, and next day delivery, I'll order another sort of 25 kilos of poly resin off them. Um, any other bits? I need, to, I need to get some 403 microfibers. Um, yeah, I'll sit down later, have a little, have a little online shop. Um, so when I'm coming back next week, it'll all be good to go for me. Um, yeah. So any updates? I'll, I'll let you know. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, just a quick update. Um, so I've been grinding and doing bits and pieces on my on my new dodge yesterday. I'm um, going back to work in a little while. But I'm sure you've seen them in other videos where my pontoon is. But I'm right at the corner of the club. The gate is up over there. And the gate is actually not big enough that the, the, the dodger would fit through it. So I've been absolutely racking my head as to how the hell I'm going to get it down. I'm thinking about stripping down gates. And it's quite a big length of pontoon and some quite narrow angles to get around with a big old lump of fiberglass. Um, now I was thinking driving onto the beach, but then the approach to the beach, carrying it down and parking and everything would be a nightmare. So, plan now. I've been on Foxy Ladies about 14 foot. So I've booked the slip I'm taking next week off work. And I've booked the slip Monday to Wednesday, um, and I'm going to try and get Foxy Lady on the slipway if she fits. Um, and then from there, we have to manhandle the Dodger on top. Um, initially, when I spoke about it before, I was going to do bring it down, test fit it, you know, make my adjustments and go back. Uh, having looked at it now and having a good think about it, uh, I'm not going to do that now. Once it's on, because of the nightmare logistics to get something that big down here. When it's on, it's on. And I work on it in situ. Um, that's why today I ground out the inside, got rid of most of the imperfections. I've got a couple of patches I've got to do later. Um, and I'll probably look at painting out inside, uh, just like some sort of primer. Um, yeah. And then get it down here, get it chucked on and then worry about the rest of it afterwards. I mean, the main thing, the side windows are cut out, so I'll just cover them with you know, a bit of plastic, bit of tape. Uh, it's the back piece there. So, oh, there's no, there's no back panel, because I'm still undecided what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that in place, and that will be probably a bit of wood or something. I'll, I'll cut up and just shutter it up, just until I decide what I'm doing. Um, and then I'll get a template, and do what I've done with everything else. I'll make it out of the foam, the, the uh, glass. Get that sort of epoxied into place, fill it in nicely. And then I can start doing the, the sort of sanding and fairing. But I wanted to do it at home. But ultimately, I'll do it here. It just makes life, it makes, saves a lot of messing around with the logistics of going back and forwards with it. Um, 
We've still got a couple of months of alleged summer. Um, so make the most of it. So yeah, so I've just come down to the boat now. Uh, come to get some, some epoxy uh, and some thickening stuff so I can gouge out some more foam, strengthen it up in, in, in the dodger that is, um, and get my epoxy primer to paint out the inside. Then, touch wood, I'm running out of wood on this boat. Touch wood, um, should be good to go. So that's it for this week. Um, so I'm going back to work later. Um, and I shall, I may tune in later and get a, some footage of the painted dodger. We'll see. But if I don't, have a good one and I'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Well, I'll be on next week. You'll see me in about two seconds. Cheers. Hi, guys. So I got back and done a bit of glassing. So this is the top for the... Um, Sort of master stateroom bedroom, if you want to call it. Oh, bubble there. Eh? Glad I tuned in this because I've uh, I'm missing something like that otherwise. Two seconds, I'm going to roll it out. Okay, okay, I'm back and bubbleless. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the top for the master stateroom bedroom cabin, if you want to call it. And that's the two shelves that I done templates for yesterday. They're uh, glassed both sides. This one is just glass to one side, so this is polyester resin with normal uh, chopped strand mat with the um, whatever it is, the chemical, the styrene holding it all together. What I've got in the truck is I've got some powder bound CSM that I've got for epoxy and before I've got the combination mat. Um, so what I'll probably do is the other side, I used the powder bound because I've now run out of my, my old CSM. Bloody great big roll of it I had. Last little twist here. Um, okay, on the dodger, what I've done is the side that still had needed digging out, I've dug it out, filled it with thick and epoxy, uh, reinforced the areas that required it. So there, that's going off nice now, done that probably a couple of hours ago. Um, as I mentioned in the video earlier, I took a grinder flappy wheel to the inside to take off any dry spots, high spots, not low spots, but anything that was going to be an issue, sort of ground it off. I've just wiped it out of acetone. Um, because it's cheaper, easier, um, it hasn't got the same sort of build, but all I'm going to do a single slap of um, single pack epoxy primer just to see what she looks like, sort of finish wise. I mean, I'm going to put some sort of panels on the, on the actual roof panel, um, but the sides, I find it hard, most of it get cut out, but just, yeah, something I can work for for a base, and then if I need to do anything major before it goes on the boat next week, hopefully. But um, I'll tune back in once I slap the paint on, uh, so you can see what it looks like, and I'll see what it looks like. Cheers guys. It's not too shabby. There's nothing obvious shout like screaming out at me. Nothing that's going to be any major issues once the windows are cut out to to fare and make make right and nice. But for a, well, you've seen the way I've done it. All bits of wood and scraps in the garage and a bit of a horrendous job. It's turned out all right so far. So um, that's it for now. Hopefully next week in the next video I'll be. Um, getting it down to the boat, getting the boat onto the slip, getting it fitted on the boat. Um, so yeah, tune in, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you know when the video comes out of me fitting it onto the boat, and uh, the further work from there. Cheers guys, have a good week.